Hi guys and welcome to another Android Studio tutorial and in this video we're going to be looking at how you can update the user interface or the UI thread or what's also known as the main thread and to do that we're going to be using uh, a handler now in this demonstration all I'm doing here is when I click generate it will generate, if I click it now I'll show you to generate random numbers and it's displaying those numbers and displaying them instantly onto the screen now at the moment this is at a rate of uh, one every uh, sorry 20 every uh, one second that's just what I've defined but what I've done is every time it generates a number it's updating the UI thread and it's displaying the text into this text view so let's look at how we can use um, handler to uh, update the uh, UI thread so I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to call it update UI use an, or you use API 16 a blank activity and same defaults okay so here's our main screen so first thing I'm going to do I'm going to stick a button in the middle and go to our text I'm going to change this to just say generate I'm going to give this an idea of my button and I'm going to create an on click method and I'm going to call this uh, I'm just going to call it randomize if that's even a word I don't know there we go yep so I'm going to click here and I'm going to create a randomize method in the main activity and here it is so when we click this generate button it's going to run this code here now I'm going to just to make this to make this clearer I'm going to delete all this because we don't need all this for this demonstration so all we've got is our own create method and our randomize method so I'm just going to quickly tidy this up so I'm going to select everything and control alt L just to tidy all that up I'm just going to make this text a little bit bigger just so we can see it and I'm just going to have that say zero zero just to make it clearer that we're going to be using, using numbers I'm also just going to rename this my text view as its ID okay so we go back to the code and the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a text view object and I'm just going to call it John's view and I'm going to use that to access this text view later ok so the first thing I want to do is I want to create a runnable object so we get runnable and I'm just going to call this John's runnable and it's going to be a new runnable and it automatically creates this forward run method so what we want to put inside here is our, our code that we want to run but what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to create a, um, a method in here called generate number um, you can call it whatever you want again but I'm just going to call a, I'm going to create a method called generate number so it's obviously complaining here that this can't resolve this method because it doesn't exist so I'm going to create that method in our main activity so it's going to put one just below here so when it runs this method obviously it's going to jump here and so at the end here we can see this little squiggly line I'm going to put a semicolon and then at the bottom we're going to create new thread and inside that thread we're going to say John's runnable so I'll execute this code and we say dot start so it will run this this thread here and it will execute generate number so this is, this is where we want to generate our number so for this demonstration I'm just going to create a for loop and I'm going to int i equals zero i is less than or equal to 40 then execute the code below and increment i by one Oop. make that better ok so I want to open braces this is where we're going to put our code so to create a random number you've seen my video before on how to generate a random number so if, if you're not sure on how to generate a random number I'll suggest you go check it out so I'm just going to do this quick so up here where I've created a text view 
I'm just going to create an int variable called x Ooh. and I'm also going to create a random object so I need to use the random class I'm going to call that John's random John's rand and it equals a new random that's going to want to import that random so alt and enter so we can use that oh I need to declare that properly and while I'm at it I'm going to create a string called number because I'm going to want to pass the number I generate into the text view because you can't pass numbers into text views okay so back down here I'm going to say x equals John's random John's rand and it's going to create an integer from say I don't know, 1 to 100 but I need to plus 1 because it generates 0 as well now I'm going to put that number into a string called called number I'm going to put x into number so x number equals string dot value of x so it turns the value of x into a string and puts that into the string variable called number so it's going to create a random number and if I left it as, as that it would create 40 random numbers basically but I want it to create a random number then I want, want it to sleep for, for a set amount of time so I'm going to say 50 milliseconds which is 1 20th of a second so I'm going to tell it to sleep for 50 milliseconds now it's complaining here because it wants to put this sleep this thread into a try catch statement so all we need to do is surround with try catch and it does all that for us and that's just to collect any errors any interrupted exceptions and now what I want it to, now what I want it to do is I want to put the number that it's generated into the text view and display it on the UI thread so this is where we use our handler so I want to create a handler object and again I'll do that up here so I'll go handler and I'm going to call it John's handler and it's wanted to import that so alt and enter there's two versions here we want the android class and I'll pop that in here there it is there ok so I want to use that um, handler now to be able to put the value into the UI thread so I'm going to call John's handler and dot post and a new runnable we want our public void run and this is where we this is literally where we, we set the text of the uh, text view in our uh, XML so now I'm going to tell it to set the text text view to the number we've generated so we need to get my view and I need to find the view by ID so it's r.id and it's the ID of our text view which I called my text view I believe. There we go. Also, it's complaining because I need to cast it because it's returning a, a view. So I need to tell it it's a text view that it's returning. Okay, and all I need to do now is set the text of the view. So set text, there it is there, and it's going to be display the number, string number, the string here, which we've defined here. And that's it. So we close that off with a semicolon. So we'll just go through what we've done. So we've created a randomized method. So when we click generate, we come down to here. I've created a runnable called John's Runnable. It's created this void, uh, this, this run method. And inside this run method, it's going to run this generate number method. It's going to jump to this generate number method, which we've defined here. And then I've got a new thread, John's runnable, and I told it to start. <coughs> so we've got this generate num this generate number method, which is going to execute here. It comes so it comes down to here. And basically, all, we, all we're doing here is generate generating 40 random numbers. So it'll generate one number, sleep for 50 milliseconds, and generate another number, sleep for 50 seconds. But while it's doing that, it's going to set the text view to display the number that's generated 
by using this post method from our handler. So if we run this and see what happens. Ah, it's come up with an error. I didn't. Semicolon, let's try again. Nope, oh, and it's crashed. Right, let's see what's happened there. Let's have a quick look. Um, uh, there's a handler problem. Let's have a look. Ah. Yep, yeah, sorry. Equals new handler. There we go. Let's try that. There we go. So it's updating the UI thread. And that's it. Okay, thanks guys. Um, if you've got any questions, just leave um, leave them in the comments below and uh, I'll try and get back to you. Uh, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.